Hello, Jeremy here from 3D InfoTech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a scanner in Polyworks. First, notice I'm in the Workspace Manager. Let's assume that I just installed Polyworks on a brand new computer. I need to teach this computer what pieces of equipment I have at my facility. To do so, I'll navigate to Tools, Options. And in my Options window, I'll select the Plugins branch, and you'll see a list of all the devices, probing and scanning, that can work directly in Polyworks. In my case, at my facility, I have a CNC CMM with the scanner. We also have a Ferro Laser Line Probe. We also have a Hexagon AS1 scanner. And we have other devices that are at our facility, but I'll just leave these three checked on for now. I'll apply, and OK. Next, let's start an inspector project. You previously saw me selecting multiple devices in Polyworks. But now, how do I tell Polyworks which device I will be using for my scan job? Well, if you're using Polyworks 2023 or older, this entire bottom toolbar is dedicated to your equipment. And the far left button is dedicated to the probing device, and the one right after is, ded is dedicated to your scanning device. I will first go to that drop down button to the right of the scanner. And you'll see a list of all the scanning devices that you previously saw me turn on. So from this list, I need to tell Polyworks which one I'm about to use. In my case, the Ferro Laser Line Probe. And if I click on that drop down again, you'll see it's checked on. So now when I press that scan button, My dialog box prepares me to begin scanning my part. Now, if I'm using Polyworks 2024 or newer, and I'm using the ribbon toolbar, those same buttons can be found in the device tab. And you'll see drop downs for the probing device and the scanning device. And I could choose to click on this little scan button to the right of the scanning device, or I could go to measure and press the scan button. Once I'm in this dialog box, this interface may look different depending on the type of equipment you have. For starters, I'm using a ferro arm, so I have ferro software. If I'm using my Hexagon AS1 scanner, this will probably say Hexagon software. If I'm using other types of scanners, like a Creoform or a Scantech, those ones have their own software that have a plugin built into Polyworks. So this interface may look different for those. But for my Faro, my Romer Arm, my Leica Tracker, what I'm about to show you applies to these. So when I press Start Scan, you'll see I currently have zero data points collected. I'll just grab my scanner, begin scanning, and you'll see as I continue scanning, the point count continues to increase in the upper left corner. Now, once I finish collecting my scan, I'll press the end button on my scanner to turn off the laser. I can review my scan data before I continue on. And when finished, I can press close. And you'll now see I have a scan data in my project. Thank you for watching.